What's happening in Lumicon this time? This is something very unusual. So this was really a special, special time. A big group of uh, really nice people came to visit to Lumicon and to see what we are doing here, what we are hiding here. And uh, yes, that was that was the event actually that was planned. Uh, and it was uh, from a foundation that called it's called Yakum. It's foundation for reforestation in the Amazon and Ecuador. It's really um, yeah great people partners. I'm also working with them in a way that I'm. Uh, donating them seeds and we exchanging plants and seeds and experiences and this time we came they came to see see uh, what's actually happening here uh, and they go to see also to different various various projects uh, that's the plan um, see different different ideas different different uh, places, different people, because each project is totally individual and we are all uh, different but we have similar vision so that's for the inspiration for the people, these were people from different communities, um, different nationalities from the Amazon and going and seeing what's around, no? Um, I was explaining them what's the philosophy and idea and uh, about this project, about Lumicon, and about our vision and life, common life here. And it's kind of something different because what they know, they see the world a little bit with different eyes and have different, different ideas and the classic native food forest looks quite different from this. So that was for them kind of inspiration to see that this is also, uh, you know, the gringo forest, <laughs> white man's forest uh, idea. And they are actually combining these ideas, these new ideas and new fruit species and different lifestyles uh, with their traditional way of life that are trying to recover you know recover the knowledge and wisdom from the past and combine it with the new ideas new ways of life because it's not really uh, also idea not, not worth to go just <laughs> no way nobody will go just to the past so we have to kind of make a kind of hybrid combination now of everything <laughs> and uh, adapt it to to, to, the, to this kind of living, modern time living. And at the same time, yes, uh, this is incredible, you know, for, for everybody. And we are yeah, exchanging so much experiences because this is all new. We're doing something new. This is all experimental. This is all quite uh, uh, new to everybody. And so we have to exchange experiences and we have to exchange in the future also fruits and seeds even now because that's how we can create a net and, and kind of, of that would work in the future for for all of us not to stay is isolated islands and do something here and then you know and don't without having any contact this is something a little bit different because that's all Equatorian people mostly uh, you know just a few foreigners only there in the foundations in the foundation because we are actually creating already net of, of uh, communities vegan communities in Ecuador and that's uh, that's already in the process also but uh, this is actually what was missing to have this touch with Equatorian people because we are in Ecuador and there's not much interest and there's no no really uh, much uh, maturity for this kind of thing this is kind of very futuristic for them and very different and uh, so this was first time that they came and they had some interest really to do something to see something different 
because otherwise we would be just like mostly communities of white men, I'd say, foreigners, and that came to Ecuador and the Ecuadorian people, and especially native people, are kind of uh, not really having much interest until now. They're not ready. This this they're living in totally different reality, unfortunately. So, and we are living in different reality also. So it's kind of, kind of creating a separation which, which is never good. But uh, yes, this is actually the example how to blend these two a little bit like an attention uh, attempt let's say uh, how to blend these two things together you know these two bubbles together uh, intention you no know, was to really it's not easy to explain people that, that we can also live different way and we can also live much more peaceful way and conscious way and they are uh, ready to listen mm, these people are ready to yeah they are curious and that's good you know they are they have interest that's the difference because most of people have no interest here so this was a big difference and we really enjoyed that time all of us we've been yeah, having really good time on the land walk around eat something went to the beach and yeah with yeah with these people we would create we are kind of yeah planting the seeds no planting the seeds physically also mentally uh, as ideas and that's the way that it works because if not yeah that's um, there's no many other things we can do try maximum and so yeah, this foundation is reforesting with fruit trees and some timber trees in a affected lands, you know, in a communities of native communities that need real help and they are great. Really great. Yeah, so Yakum is really, really helping a lot.